Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Mob Love Alternative. Okay, so I want to say that uh, I finished Mob Love, uh, <laughs> Mob Love, it was an extra, Unlimited, yeah, Mob Love Unlimited, and now we are in here, but I mean I should have started before, but you know what, whatever. I finished it, and now we can continue and see what new stuff, um, you know, with our knowledge, we can change. To the right. Fix this. Where's the next one? Above me? Bang, bang, bang. Great, out of ammo. In that case, take that. Whoa. Gotcha. There's a little forward dash out of a crouch cancer. I could land that one with my eyes closed. Training imitation. Finished. A holiday. Dosa Kyoshu Oyokate for Shurio Sur. Honjit no simulator Kunle wa Ijoda. Agare Shirogane. Okay. Man, you can definitely tell the Fubuki series is state of the art. After piloting with the Gekishin, it's clear as day how much of a luxury it is to train with the Fubukis. The Fubuki is more flexible, maneuverable, and responsible, but on the flip side, that means the controls are hypersensitive to even the slightest of inputs. Sure, the Gekishin was pretty rough in comparison, but it was also easier to control. It's actually kind of scary how quickly I got used to it. The first time I hopped into one, it felt unbelievably clunky and unresponsive. Well, whatever. Once I accumulate some data and the feedback system starts to kick in, this should get a little easier. I just wish there was a more intuitive way to perform combos and cancels, you know? Yeah. Maybe like a special command for an auto cancel or something. Hmm, the turbo button. Eh. Then it'd be just like a video game. Man, that takes me back. It's been over three years since the last time I played one. Last time around, I got so hyped up about being inside a real-life Valgor or not, or whatever. God, I was so naive. It took a hell of a lot more work to master this stuff in real life. Not at all like a Valgor non. Ah, uh, Valgor non. Ah, uh, there's no way to make TSF that simple, but there's got to be a way to get a little closer to it in terms of intuitiveness. Like, in beginner mode, you can set single button shortcuts for combos and auto cancels and stuff. I remember turning those on whenever I just wanted to power through the game. Okay, the beginner mode for the original Valgranon port was so well made. And Yuko-sensei, you should be working on something like that instead of some weird brain implant crap. Uh, huh, a beginner mode, huh? Wait a sec, that's actually a pretty great idea. A TSF operating system that functions just like Valgrind or non? Of course! I mean, wasn't that simple? You know, wasn't that, uh... Something simple you could have come up with before? We already control them indirectly via brainwaves as it is. So if we built those kind of automatic combos and cancels into the basic com con controls, that make it so that anybody could pull off my moves. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm a genius! I'm gonna go as you go send it right now! Oh my gosh! Sensei! Uh, Sensei, remember how you said you wanted to kill some time messing around with TSS or whatever? Then I've got the perfect project for you! Huh? And then, that's how you make the beginner- Yes, I just said that. Well, we don't have the time to redesign the hardware from scratch, let alone do all the necessary testing and whatnot. Remember how I told you about my world? The one without the beta? Well, in that world, we had these games that were super popular. They were like simulators, but you could use them at home. And you know all those crazy stunts I do? Well, they all came from that game, and with a little practice, anyone could do the same moves as me. 
When I first started learning to pilot TSFs, I was a little thrown off by how different they were from what I was used to. But once I got used to piloting them, I wound up being able to imitate a lot of the moves from those games. Me, an amateur with zero piloting experience, and it's all thanks to how advanced the TSS auto autonomic control technology is. So instead of asking the pilots to make the TSF do those moves, why don't we just teach the TSFs to do them automatically? If you really think my skills are worth replicating, then we totally should do this. It'd make it so anybody out there could do what I do. Uh, beginner mode. Cancels and combos, of course. Cancel to combo. Cancels are, uh... Okay. So you know how when a TSF is about to fall over, it automatically braces for impact? So, ne. When it's going into that recovery sequence, it stops responding to user input, right? Basically, a cancel would just get rid of that. That's right. Being able to shoot while falling is more is way more important. Okay, so why not just design it so that only the arms and triggers can accept those commands? Basically, when a specific sequence of commands is given within a certain time frame, the TSF would perform a move that otherwise wouldn't. And that's why I'm not great at fighting games. Uh, hmm. Well, whoa, 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 we're back, we're here, oh, go, Takeru! Going back to those games I was talking about, those controllers always have a cross-shaped button or a joystick to control your movement and a number of buttons for basic action commands. Like this, I brought it with me. <laughs> See, it's a uh, fight stick. How do I bring it here? Uh, don't ask me. So let's say you press the punch button three times and the kick button once. What do you think would happen? Punch Wrong, you just, uh, Shoryuken. Oh, that's right. I should assume those were right-handed punches and forward kicks. I'm pretty sure it's not Shoryuken. That's just the word that came up to me. Yeah. So this time, if we press those buttons really fast, like punch, 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 kick, it'd instead be a right hand punch, then a left hand punch, or another right hand punch, and a reverse roundhouse kick, that's what we call a combo. Yeah, that's about the gist of it. I mean, that could work, but then what if you do the first three punches and then you realize something bad's about to happen? You want to be able to cancel out that roundhouse kick, right? I'm putting some other move. Man, if you guys had video games, it would have been so much easier. That's right. I guess that's what it boils down to. あなたが言っているのは使用頻度の高い軌道は完全自動化してそれを任意に解除できるようにしろってこと。Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. できると思う? Yes, because you're so smart. その戦術機はどこでどんな任務に就くかわからないのよ。Uh, well... I mean, it doesn't really matter who. I guess I can do it for starters. You can just convert my control logs, can't you? Really? Well, in that case... そんな決まりきった動きしかできない柔軟性のない機械が実戦で役に立つのかしら? ねえ。言っておくけど、戦術機に求められているのは全天候、全環境を展開制圧能力なのよ。わあ。戦場の環境は毎回違ってくるし、敵がいつも同じような距離で同じような動きをしてくれるわけじゃないでしょ。タイミ
そのすべてに対応するパターンをやってみせてくれるのでもそれだと技の数が多すぎて操作の簡略化にならないわね本末転倒よ Uh, well, I guess we could just make the combos a little more all purpose. Subete no handa o computer ni yara seru tsumari. Kyokugen made sono hanashi o osu sumereba, eishi wa iranai ってことになるわね Well, I mean, wouldn't that be a good thing though? Sore wa, ningen to onaji shiko o motsu kikai o tsukure ってことね Ah. Oh. Ah, no, ne. 機械の思考と人間の思考は全く別物なのよ。いやそうね。例えば、青い鳥が空を飛んでるとしましょう。あめ、ブルーバード。物事を判断するとき、人間の脳は複数の情報を関連づけ、記憶と照らし合わせて解釈するの。そう。鳥がいればそれが青くてさらに飛んでいるという3つの情報を瞬時にかつ的確にまとめることができる。ああ。人間は並列で物事を考えることができるわけ。わかる ?Sort of, and I'm guessing computers can do that, huh? それがわかればいいわ。さらに人間は記憶や知識から鳴き声を連想することまでできる。Okay, but that sounds like something a machine could do too. Data say Areba, Nakigo Ekurai, a doni canaruka mosirena. Kedo, Sokoga Genkai Mukashi Dokoka de Kita Kotoga Aru, Nante Yukioku no Yobidashi wa Nai. I see. Okanimo Kire da Toka, Busaiku da Toka, Mazuso da Toka, Mita Monoka Renso Ste, Tsugino Shiko, Umidas no Kano. So they have no imagination, you mean? Why are you only speaking in my, into my right ear? Wait. But wasn't there a computer that beat the world chess champion at one point? That one was totally reading its, his moves ahead of time. Yes. Why not? So there was semi hind, suddenly gente set a rude and out of a canoe. Oh, Sate, Coco de Monday. Send it skiva, just no banjo no yona, you cannot buy them a hankas in a joke or discuss cover and I. No, of course not. Tonaruto, not the send it skin of sauce and a canzen in Jido Casarezu. No matter how many patterns you program into it, no machine could utilize them properly, since it wouldn't be able to make accurate judgments for itself. Of course, guess games really are just games. Falgrenon, no matter what kind of complex combo you threw at it, it was always operating under the basic rules of the game. But on the battlefield, you need to be able to react to some, anything life throws at you. All sorts of information is coming at you from all over, and the situations are constantly changing. But asking a machine to make an accurate decision based around all that is pretty much a lost cause. Hey man, and here I thought I was really onto something. <gasps> huh? You do? Parallel processing? Oh, right. She said that, you know, this last time too. And then she started going on about those 15 billion semiconductors. Ah. Really? I mean, the human being in the cockpit is already making all of the decisions. Oh man, Robocomputer can't do everything! 
<sighs> well, anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Mirrors can do everything, but there might be a chance. Uh, uh, computers aren't as you know smart as I thought they would be. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Marvel of Alternative. If you guys did, then please smash that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to share this video and, you know, ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!